So just about a week ago, I uploaded a test to this YouTube channel for all of you watching, and so many of you passed with flying colors. It was glorious to see, but some of you, some of you crashed and burned and failed miserably. Now what I did, I made the creative decision to upload a video that was intentionally out of focus because being a veteran of YouTube, I would never make the mistake to record a video out of focus unless it was on purpose, of course. And a lot of you watched it and enjoyed it and didn't say anything in the comments, but so many of you stumbled and tripped and had to point it out in the comments. And it's just hard to see after all this time of us together for you to not know that that was on purpose, that it was purposely done as a test to see if you would cry about it in the comments. And if you failed, I am so sorry. You now have seven years of bad luck. <laughs> and I don't know what else to tell you because there's no taking it back now. Yeah, it definitely wasn't because I kicked the tripod. No, yeah, no. Welcome back everybody to a brand new Lush Life video. So happy to have you back for what's hopefully an in focus uh, video. I'm gonna give you three hints and I need you to give me a name, okay? Oh gosh. Short. Trish well, Paytas. No, <laughs> not quite, but that's pretty much the answer most of the other times. Yes. Short, Bob, blonde haircut. Let me see your manager freaking out in public. Karen. Hey! Oh. The Karen meme's been around for a minute now. This year it really kind of took took off and gained some steam. I do on, I do generally feel bad for people that are named Karen because the, now their name is kind of like sullied by this internet meme of just awful middle-aged white woman. Man, blame your parents. <laughs> but, uh, in the spirit of Karens, uh, I found a, I found a, an account online that uh, has like a compilation of just people freaking out in public. So it's not necessarily all Karens. There might be a mixed bag of, of who it is, but uh, I wanted to, to watch that with my wife just so we can appreciate that, you know, we are, and you guys probably are not these people, and that's something to be grateful for. You flipped us off earlier uh, this not. summer. All right, you're not. Keep telling yourself that. And you tell your parents to party in their f***ing deck every Friday and Saturday night that it's, they're not? It's a weekend. What's wrong with that? Oh, so alcoholics on the weekend is okay, but not on a Wednesday. Uh, there's a thing called moderation. Oh, Alcoholism okay. is where you Dilly, drink every good. day. Why don't you write that down in your book? What book? You should start one. Why would I start a book? Because you need one. Um, I need a book? Yeah, you need a book, and that book is called The Bible. Read about it. Ooh, snap. Dylan. You can't have a conversation with crazy. No, no, I like this. No, no, this no, 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 come on. I, you can't. I like it. No. Hold on, that right there, that's the quote of the video. That's pretty much the quote of life. You can't have a conversation with crazy. Exactly. Least, that is true. Sometimes you just got to pack it up and, and walk away. Dude. There's that's just very true. People, there's, there's, uh, some people are not to be reasoned with. But Imagine having that kind of argument with your neighbor and your I know, backyards that, are on top of each other. Literally, like your, your decks are touching, dude. That's, awkward. that's so awkward. How do you now enjoy yourself on your back patio? I don't know it's, how you... I think you're kind of similar, but, like, I just can't handle the conflict. I would oh, rather no, just no. say nothing I'm very, in that case. I'm very anti-conflict, dude. I hate stuff like that. I've always been a people pleaser, and I honestly sometimes wish I was better at confrontation. But I prefer, you know, smooth sailing as opposed to just awkward weirdness amongst people because <laughs> egos or whatnot. Hey, what's your problem, dude? I'm fine. What? You call me dude? What? You call me dude? You call me dude? You call me dude? Like that? He's like, I did! I did call you dude! I called you dude! I'm sorry, please put the baton down! Call me dude! Shut up! You need to call me Shut up! Oh my! God brings his leg up. That dude was probably like a, a vagrant of some sort. I don't know. Against the law for you to climb that wall. And to cut these plants. I am gonna cut it down and have to blow up the goddamn place! Okay, now you're threatening to blow up the goddamn place? I'm calling the cops, Diane. You goddamn have bastard son of a You too, Diane. Have a good day. Wait, did he say Wait, that's Diane? a woman? <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Are you sure your name's not Karen? Because holy smokes. Hold on, hold on. It sounds like, um. Diane. Something. <laughs> Sounds like what? Hang on, I, I don't know the name of it, so I have to Google something. A few And we came up empty. No dice from Mrs. Lush. You were nothing but rude and belligerent. Have a good day, ma'am. Oh, you son of a <laughs> Yes, you oh too. My. Thank <laughs> Imagine having a neighbor like that. No. That would be no. intolerable. I feel like I've, I've always had pretty good luck with neighbors. Like, there, I've had some weird ones. Everyone's got some weird neighbors, but I've never had to live abutting somebody that is that psychotic? So I see this person parked like a complete. Ooh. Wow, dude. Let's see what the notes say. This is great. Everyone just leaving it. Ignorant, you are an idiot. <laughs> yep. Ooh. Park job. <laughs> Notice of inconsideration. 
<laughs> oh my god. Wait, was that like an official notice? This. Oh. Only Jersey. <laughs> just, people just What would you do if you saw someone oh, parts like that? What if you saw them getting into their car afterwards? I don't know. Again, I would just look at them and be like, bewildered. Yeah. But I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna go out of my way to get in a fight with someone. Parking lots are definitely a, a, um, a Dude, scene of some heated fights. Dude, just driving in general, road, yeah. road rage is like one of the most insane things on the planet. Like, where else? Where else in life are you just like something casually doesn't go your way and you're like, you what the? F are the you really saying that right no, now? No, I'm the same way. It's insane. Like someone. No, does no, 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 no. Something casually doesn't go your way. You have your own building for your recording now. Yeah. And I still hear you screaming. It was like 10:30 at night and you screamed at the top of your lungs. I'm like, someone's going to call the police on us. That was normally it's for comedic effect, but I wasn't actually recording the. You other were night. actually mad. Uh, yes, because as many of. My viewers so talk know, about on the rage. channel, I don't have an air conditioning in the office yet, which is above a garage and it gets I to be a million degrees. I cannot hear about it anymore. And there was sweat pouring into my eyes while I was trying to do work and I wanted to die and I got very angry. Oh! Here we go, the bus window. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, the pass. You know she's a Karen because she's definitely always cold. <laughs> Wait, are they serious? <laughs> Someone's gotta lose it. Oh, definitely. <laughs> no, dude. What is that? Oh, my, my, my! You come to my place of business? Give me a seat here! Who do you think you are? Right now, you need to get away. I'm going away, Blake! Give me a finger! Why do you come to my place of business? Give me a finger! Right now! Are you proud of it? Right now, I'm going to the dome. I'm going to tell the 20,000 people. Tell everybody! Don't give me a finger! You have no right to give me a finger! Oh, the finger. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get I was, it. I thought you were saying ticket at first. Man, some people really get mad at the bird, but it's a respect thing, I guess. Again, no context for what started it. <laughs> Sir, you, know, you check your pizza before it's out. No, 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 no
Uh-oh. Oh, boy. What'd you say, what'd you say about parking lots? Wait, beep, is there a dog beep. doing that? What is that, bud? Beep, beep. Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's a light. Look at this dog. Beep, beep. Is this serious? <laughs> That's great. Nobody better get mad at that. No, you can't. You're going to do what? You're going to call the cops on my kids for playing in a McDonald's? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. It is playing. They're playing in a kid's area. Just because you're middle aged and have no kids and no family doesn't mean. Bro, how is she going to come with her middle aged no kids? Look at the drip on this. The purple hoodie with the gold vest over top. She and might I think be middle aged. She might have a gray skirt on. She She's doing all right. Middle aged with no kids, but she is, she is dripping like a faucet right now. <laughs> I can hear They're the kids. kids. They're bathroom. playing. Hey, Lower hey, it. Hey, hey. Lower it down. No, oh, God. The they don't have the Please. right to take over the whole restaurant. They do. They're okay. kids. Oh. Get out. It's not okay. It is okay. Literally, so she's literally, she got, she freaked out because there were kids playing in a McDonald's. I'm pretty sure McDonald's, some let of them me, have like a play place. Uh, let me see if I can just do Do you want to get an expert consultant? No, let me just. Ma'am. You're, this is a McDonald's, ma'am. This is literally the epicenter for people bringing their kids, ma'am. They're, they're going to play in the McDonald's, ma'am. This isn't the five seasons. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get an expert consultant on whether kids should be allowed yeah. to play in the McDonald's? Jackson, I know you have your mouth full, but when you go to McDonald's, do you like to play or do you stay quiet because of Karen? Play? <laughs> <laughs> Say play. 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 <laughs> that works. Good guy. Hi. Are you yeah. shy because you know the camera's on? Hey guys. Hey guys. You like your snacks though. Yummy snacks. It's not okay for kids to scream so loud that the people on the complete other side of the room They're happy. Why are you themselves. upset that kids are happy? <laughs> That's not it. Yeah, that is it. No, but I'm just trying to enjoy the restaurant too. The restaurant? Ma'am? Ma'am, this is a McDonald's. <laughs> let me, ma'am, let me remind you, ma'am. Uh -oh. What am I doing? Uh oh. I'm just sitting here on my phone. Why are you bothering me? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what did you say? Uh oh. I'm just sitting here on my phone. I didn't say a word to you. You, you didn't have to. She so just came over to me out of nowhere and said I'm an idiot for being on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's real boomer energy right down, right there. That's beyond boomer, in case yeah. you didn't notice. <laughs> I, know, I know, but the mean boomer energy. But yeah, I mean, first of all, how dare this woman sit in a subway on her phone? Like, this woman had every right to go over and call her hack. <laughs> phone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I have it all on video. Yeah. I, she's... She literally came over to me. I was watching a YouTube video, and she said, "What are you doing on your Good phone?" Good for you watching a YouTube video. I hope it was, I was last say, life. You automatically win because you're watching YouTube on the subway. Got to, you know, got to support that YouTube life. We got to let her know to check out our channel. This guy's like, "Why what? am I going to go to jail?" I didn't even speak to you. I was listening to my headphones. She was on her headphones. Even. I just actually want to know: Is there typically a security guard in subway? Actually, that's a great question. Why? Is <laughs> this has to be like. <laughs> This has to be in maybe a, I don't know, maybe a different, inner, like a city neighborhood or something where- Even so. I don't have no idea, but I've never seen a security guard in a subway, personally. But you have a sign up here. So Again. why are you doing like false advertising if you're gonna have this extra crispy here, you don't have it, right? I will call your corporate office Come and on. I'll, I'll, I'll tell them exactly what happened. Again. Is he literally, because there's a, there's a promo a little promo card up for the extra crispy chicken, but they happen to not have it right there. And he wants to get Ever her in trouble for fa things? false advertising. <laughs> I wish this woman just just said, "Sir, actually, I have something to tell you. Just get in close, sir." And then and then and then he and then he leans in and says, "What's your name again?" And she just went. Ah! Right no, in his you gotta mouth. tell him what's up, sir. Sir, this is a this is a KFC, sir. <laughs> This is the problem with this KFC. We have a manager here that's the KFC root cause of all right? problems. I asked for I asked for original recipe, Beep and which is the basis of all the recipes Beep in, in KFC, Beep and she doesn't have it, and Beep she said no. Beep she didn't smile. No. no. Go off, Terrence. Tell him how it is at the KFC in your neighborhood. We gotta know about it. No, no respect. She didn't say thank you. She looked at you got a sign that says. What is she thanking you for? You better take some time to call sir? her. Up or... Sir, sir, Jackson, do me, sir, Jackson, say, ma'am, this is a KFC. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that. Karen. That counts. Karen. Karen, this is a. Karen. No. What's? Wait, get him. 
saying that. Karen. You actually say Karen. Say Karen. Karen. <laughs> Karen. Shut up, Karen. Karen. <laughs> the uh, what's the male what's the male equivalent of Karen Chad I know Chad's a big one but Chad's really? not Chad's like different than I don't know there's got to be one though but he if was, you're a dude you can definitely be a Karen he was yeah that was a, a that was a that was a Karen with a pecker pretty much I have been out of town I can't help but turn your phone off why do you need to take this you harassed my mother I did not harass your mother my brother was with me Bob I love oh. Bob. Bob's not in this. Did I harass her mother? This to me is mean, Bob. This is mean. My mother is a nervous wreck. This house is not in my mother's name. It is not her home. I'm supposed to do this... my research. You know that. I don't know that. I don't well, get in people's I... business. Before you give somebody a letter. Seems like a real non-issue, gentrified neighborhood. <laughs> nonsense argument how do you feel about typing up a letter though instead of just knocking on someone's door to talk to them leaving a letter on their house again no context for what the issue is something about the property line not good oh i got a letter one time from a neighbor Did you? yes when we lived in our apartment do you remember i got a letter from a neighbor one time saying that giving me some links and some data about why it's not good to Start your car ahead of time. Oh my god! To warm it up. That was when we lived together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like the middle of winter, and what you like, you started your car like ten or fifteen minutes ahead of time. Yeah, I had so a we could get defrost before we had. To, she had to we drive to work. We live in Boston. That's right, dude. I remember that that neighbor. They left a letter on your car. It was it was Talking like it was. They were nice. Like it was nice. It wasn't me. But it was like passive aggressively. Like yeah. If you leave your car on for more than five minutes when it's defrosting, you're gonna ruin the environment. It was a little bit like basically, and almost, that it's not good for your car too. Yeah, so they were overstepping their boundaries a little bit. We just laughed about it, quite honestly. So that's all the uh, the quarreling, all the public freakouts I can take for one day. I think uh, you know. You're welcome for the free Jackson show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to get a little little update on the big the big tomato, the little tomato there. Thank you guys for watching. We do appreciate you. Uh, and we'll certainly see you in, Jackson, uh, you want to say bye? Jackson, say bye. Bye. <laughs> Blow kisses. Mwah. Oh. Blow kiss again. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.